Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm here with Zoe and um, wanted to kind of take a look at her. I know. And just kind of see what I think um, as far as her being preggers. She's lifting it. She's being sensitive. She's like tucking her, tucking it up. Um, you know, I don't really know. Um, you know, at first, at first, I don't know. I, she hasn't eaten yet today, so she's, a, she's going to be a little lean. I don't know. To me, I, I think she is just because she sure does look really thick, man. Like really thick. And Zoe's never been a dog that looks thick. Like she's always been a dog that has been more on the leaner side. So like, um, so for me, you know, one of the things I've noticed about these bigger dogs is that they often carry in the rib cage and then, um, and then later, um, the puppies migrate lower and then they lose their tuck up. So in the tuck up for reference is, you know, honey, is this area right here where, where it tucks up, right? So when somebody tells you your dog is fat because it has no tuck up. That's what they're talking moving her leg out so they're saying that instead of it coming up like this they're saying your dog has no tuck up and so it'll go straight across fat dogs will go straight across it's a good way to know if your dog is chunky or not no tuck up <clears throat> oh god there she goes good girl so low <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, baby girl? What are you doing, baby girl? What are you doing, baby girl? Yes. Yes. That my sweet baby. That my sweet baby. Yes. Are you a baby? Oh, you my sweet baby. Oh, you my sweet baby. Yes, you are. Yeah, my baby, don't you jump on me with them dirty pieces. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this your pretty girl. Come on, Chunks. Come on, chunk a lot. Get off me, punk. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? You get too excited. What are you doing? So I think it's important that uh, that she gets some time out and to run. I don't. The reason I don't like bringing females that I think could be pregnant out um, is because is because um, I don't these dogs play really rough and I just don't want her to get hit by another dog you know blindsided um, now having said that her I was thinking about it and I was like you know what like the reality is that in my experience and I will say that I've seen people claim that there's no evidence to support this claim but it has been my experience and that is usually <clears throat> um whatever the mother had puppy wise is what the daughter will have now there may be a variation to that as far as like you know um cashmere always had like 13 puppies 12 to 13 puppies and like blondie i think the most she ever was gonna have was 10 so actually I take that back because I think her last litter, I think her last litter, she had 11. So 
but anyway, but she never had 13 is my point. And so, but they had big litters. Those are considered big litters. So what I would say is that maybe not the exact number will be the same, but I do believe that if you have a female that whose mother had big litters, the likelihood is, is that she will then have big litters. Not guaranteed, obviously, but that has been my experience. Now, having said that, Zoe, <clears throat> her litter was not considered to be a big litter. She had, what, she had one, two, two female siblings and one male sibling, so... So she was one of four. Um, I don't remember how many puppies that the litter was before her because there was a litter before her. Um, and so I don't know what all the other numbers are. I can only go off what the number was on her litter. And um, I don't remember that being, um, obviously it wasn't a big litter. So I don't, I think it's possible that the reason why I'm so like, um, Mm, like, you know, why I'm not seeing as much progress as I think I would like to see is possibly, possibly because she just doesn't have a whole lot of puppies in there. So, and I will say I didn't take a whole lot of deposits on her either. Normally I take about five males, five females, but I did not do that um, in her case. By the way, look at this. I planted this. It's doing pretty good, you guys. I just had to, I just had to show that off. All of my trees are still alive. But I will say that I, I'm disappointed in one of those, one of those trees. I don't know, dude. I just personally, she looks really thick to me, especially for a dog that hasn't eaten yet today. Um, <clears throat> sun is going down. It's so gorgeous out here. It just stormed, and um, oh, it's been a, such a just a beautiful day. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. Hey, baby girl. These are my snookums. These are my snookums. Mwah. Sorry, I had to give her a kiss. Hey! Yeah. So, um, anyway, I... Uh, my vet did an ultrasound earlier, and then she said she didn't see anything, but she said she thought it was too early. So I was going to get it done um, last week, and then I just got too busy. So um, I'll call my vet and see if they can just, if I can just do a little run in tomorrow. I probably can't. They're, they're all so busy. But, um, but anyway, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get her in. Um, if I, uh, I don't know. I may not. We're so far into, <laughs> we're so far into it. I don't know. Honestly, don't even know if it's worth, worth the money. She either is or she isn't. You know what I mean? Um, so I guess we'll just see. I don't know. It, Cause it's, she's only got, like, I will know in the next two weeks if she is or isn't anyway. And so there's kind of a, there's kind of a no need to waste the money if I'm going to know anyway, because, um, she would only have three to four weeks left, um, of the pregnancy. And so, and I will say that most females don't start showing until they're about a month in. So it would be normal for her to just now start showing which is what I think I'm seeing, particularly um, the um, uh, particularly the the larger the female is. So the bigger the female is, the more um, time it takes usually to see the pregnancy on them. And um, Zoe, you probably can't tell, um, but Zoe is a, is a very big female. She's she's a very decently sized female, and um, and so <clears throat> so anyway so. You know, it's it's <clears throat> likely to be the case with her. So, you're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I was I was letting her out anyway. You know, like I said, I like to let my my pregnant ladies have a you know some like alone time out here. I don't want them out here with anybody that's gonna um, cause them to overexert themselves or that's gonna jeopardize their health by just running into them or knocking them over things like that. But I do want them to get exercise because it's actually really important for them. Um, all of their muscles and everything need to be in good shape for them to be able to have a good birthing process. Um, so, having said that, there is a dog that is just barking and barking and barking out there. It's not my dog. It's like some... Well, that's my dog. Um... 
So you hear it back there? I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, uh, anyway, so, so yeah, so, um, so she's out here getting her, I mean, if I had to, if I had, if I absolutely had to say yes or no, I would say yes right now. I would say yes. Um, also, Trinity is going to be back tomorrow, and um, Heffalump is going to come over for a visit, and I'm really excited about that, y'all. So, I just love him being at Vicky's because she's really responsive to how much I love him and care about him, and so when she offered to bring him over here whenever she's bringing Trinity, I was just so excited. And I even asked her, come here. I said, I was like, you know, if I ever wanted to just like come and pick him up for a weekend and just hang out, like, and she's like, absolutely. She's like, you could totally do that. So anyway, it's just, it's just so cool. You know, I, I just, um, it's so special and I feel so blessed to be able to have somebody nearby that, um, that needs Hefe in the way that my kennel really doesn't right now. Cause I need more genetic diversity and, um, and she just has him out and loving on him and it just makes me really happy. Come here. Zolo. <laughs> Zolo. Zo. What you getting into? She's so hungry. See that? I'm telling you, man. The fact that she's that hungry, right? She's just looking for food. And she was eating some grass, which means that her stomach is a little bit upset. I, I think she is. I think she is. What you doing? Quit trying to eat stuff you shouldn't be eating. Anyway, well, I'm going to let y'all go. I got to get these dogs fed. Um, I've been uploading now to my Life of Senza. I did that, um, I did that upload. And um, we'll just continue to do <clears throat> more stuff on there. And then I also uploaded just a small clip of my bird today on um, Senza Clips. So just little things if you're, if you're just wanting to see kind of what's going on around here. And I don't have the time to just like go out and do a whole pack video. If you just want to see what I'm doing, what I'm up to, what's going on around here. Um, that's what's going on, you know. The Sense Eclipse is just short little stuff. It's nothing, it's not like in-depth. It's just, um, you know, clips of either the dogs or things going on around here. And then and then the other one, um, Life of Senza, is more just about Savannah and I and kind of just a, a family, more of like a family vlog. So anyway, um, we had a pretty, uh, we had a pretty, um, uh, so what we've been doing basically is like, for vlogging, kind of like doing the theory of like the reality TV almost. So we basically film all the time. And then if you just kind of forget about it after a while, and then if something is said that is um, funny or whatever, then we, when we talk about it or, you know what I mean? That it's on there and we'll, we'll, we'll use it. So what was funny is, um, I'll give you just a little hint. We had a, um, in a very impromptu conversation about Savannah getting a tattoo. So that was, that was fun. So anyway, if you want to, you want to know about that, you can check that out on Life of Senza. So hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk at you later. Bye.